The second edition of the NetBank Junior Challenge drew one of the strongest fields in South African junior golf with the country's future champions battling it out over 54 holes at Sun City's iconic Gary Player Country Club. We've been proud sponsors of the, the NetBank Golf Challenge now and 2022 will mark the 40th anniversary of our golf sponsorship and you know, about two years ago in our discussions with Sun International there's always been this glaring gap as part of our golf uh, sponsorship portfolio around you know what are we doing for junior golf you know we've had a, a number of various golf development projects and initiatives but nothing really to you know to, to really write home about and um, I think the NetBank Junior Challenge in its uh, current shape and form just allows us to to give back and to grow the development of the game at a grassroots level. Of course this is a premier under 19 junior golf tournament and it just acts as a feeder system for us into the, the tournament proper being the NetBank Golf Challenge. You know it's in fact sort of a, a mini version or junior version of that you know so we're really excited about the talent that we saw last year again you know this week it just seems like you know there's no end to the amount of talent that we have in South African golf. This is the junior version of Africa's major. The Nedbank Challenge is just uh, one of the best tournaments every year and we've missed it through, through COVID and we've been very blessed last year um, with the sponsorship of Nedbank and Sun International via Sun City to give us the opportunity to bring 78 of the best junior players here uh, for three days, 54 holes stroke play event at Gary Player Country Club. It's been fantastic. It's just been unbelievable seeing these youngsters out there. And I tell you what, these youngsters can play golf. The course has been tough. Um, round one was relatively easy, I think, from a setup point of view. But the old lady, uh, she showed her toughness, and the greens were a lot quicker as well. We single cut and rolled the greens. But it's fantastic seeing the youngsters out there, and very, very tough, very honored, and very privileged to host the event. And um, may it long continue. The event presents a wonderful opportunity for the cream of the South African Golf Development Board members to experience golf at this elite level, crucial to helping further their careers. A lot of the times we use our national ranking and this is no exception. We use the top 50 ranked in the under 19 Golf RSA ranking. We then go across to basically 19 South African golf development players. It's their five elite players and 14 invitees. That makes up most of the field and then Golf RSA, we have a few exemptions uh, that we use as, as obviously running the tournament for, for Golf RSA. The NetBank Junior Challenge features about 80 of South Africa's top under 19 players here at the, this week and of that about 20 are from the South African Golf Development Board. So once again, you know, it's just about uh, you know, giving opportunities to, to these youngsters to essentially get a taste of what it feels like to play at the Gary Player Country Club and wouldn't it be nice in years to come to see one of them winning the NetBank Golf Challenge. Not a lot of people, not a lot of golfers, not a lot of youngsters have the privilege of playing here at Sun City, let alone the Gary Player Country Club. So that was one of the criteria that we, that we stipulated and insisted on, is to get development golfers out here. And, and I'm telling you now, seeing the development and seeing how good they are, hopefully in years to come we can see, not only from, from an Airbank Junior Challenge perspective, but seeing them play in the Airbank Golf Challenge, that is our ultimate goal. It was Timothy Daniels who relished the opportunity most at Sun City. The Devon Vale club champion finished sixth overall and now knows he has the game to compete. For those in the mix on the final day, an added incentive for the champion. A VIP experience at the 2022 NetBank Golf Challenge. The winner of this event this week gets to experience, uh, it's a VIP experience, and it's a look behind the scenes of, of what the players do pre-tournament. So it's, it's invaluable, it's priceless. We're gonna get um, hopefully some interaction with the pros. We are looking behind the scenes, not only from a hospitality perspective, but also from a practice, how they prepare for the tournament, um, how they prepare on the range, all of that. So it's gonna be unbelievable. And hopefully, hopefully, I won't commit to it now, but hopefully there's a surprise towards the end of the year for the winners, for last year and for this year. Ami Kabana finished in a tie for third place. No behind the scenes visit to Sun City later this year for him, but the former Italian under 16 champion illustrated just how much potential he possesses. Alongside Bana in third was Pascal Kunta. The top scorer for the Junior Proteas in the All-Africa Junior Championship in Egypt once again showed his pedigree.
Adrich Potreter came up just short of the title, thanks to a forgettable closing stretch, where he dropped three shots coming home. Having won three of his last four starts, his good form continues. The youngster can be proud of his performance on one of the country's most testing layouts. Rand Park's Stefan Jacobs, who led coming into the final round, fired a closing 70, enough to secure top spot. Well, I knew the course was playing difficult, so I knew just playing par to your strings and that would be enough. But then I saw Aldrich coming and making a charge and I was a bit nervy, but uh, yeah, it was, it was quite nervy. After a tough tussle with Aldrich Potrider, Stefan Jacobs' three-stroke victory looks more comfortable than it was. To overcome a field as strong as this will stand him in good stead going forward and do wonders for his confidence. I was just trying to make par and then luckily I had some great iron shots to get it on the green on, on 16 and 17 and then on 18 it came up a little bit short um, but then was able to make the par for one. But I think it will mean quite a lot to me considering uh, this tournament was played on such a difficult course and yeah the field was very strong as well. The champion for this year shooting rounds of 70, 73 and 70 again, Stefan Jakobs. A proud moment for Jacobs who will have dreams of returning to Sun City as a professional and lifting Africa's major. But for now, he can enjoy being the 2022 Nedbank Junior Challenge champion. A huge thanks from Golf RSA to all involved in making this year's Nedbank Junior Challenge a huge success.